Hey, you know, when I think of citrus, I think of grapefruits, oranges, lemons, but there are so many fruit varieties that I've never even heard of, and I'm learning all about them here, like this. This is a pomelo. Do you know what a pomelo is? <laughs> Stay tuned because we're going to be showing you all of the goodies regarding local citrus fruit. Well, we're going to check in with her after the break. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm still in amazement at the pomelo over there because it was like the size of my head. And I'm learning so much about citrus here, and we're celebrating the 2018 Citrus Center Winter Festival. With us now is Center Director Dr. John DeGrasse. So can you tell us what everyone is gathered here for this morning? Okay, good morning. Uh, great to have you here. The Citrus Center is here to serve the commercial industry. Uh, uh, the commercial grows, we, we do research and we do outreach and education. But citrus is so popular here, a lot of people grow citrus in their backyards. So we have this annual event where homeowners can come and learn about citrus, uh, what varieties, how they can control pests and diseases, and uh, feed their trees right. Awesome. And everyone in here is going to the different booths, and, and we have different displays here. So tell us what each display is, is about. Each of our units within the center has a table. So we have one for the budwood production. We have one for the different varieties of citrus, one for new varieties, one for pests. Uh, one for what diseases are and also one for how we test for diseases. There's also a nursery here which provides trees, sells trees to the public. So uh, lots of things to see and do and you can see there's a good crowd. Awesome. You guys, we have a juicer here and we're getting ready to make some orange juice. So these are from your own backyard, is yes, that correct? Yes, they were picked yesterday. Awesome. So can you tell us while I'm doing this, I learned how to do this this morning, you guys. Sure. While I'm doing this, can you tell us um, you know, the, about the different diseases and how we can learn to protect our citrus here in the valley? Uh, there, there are lots and lots of diseases. The ones we spend a lot of time on now are one called citrus greening. It's spread by a little insect um, and homeowners can learn a lot while they're here of how to control the insect. There are chemicals and uh, biocontrols available. The other problem we have is the Mexican fruit fly. And again, people here can answer questions on, on that. Owning a citrus tree in the deck, backyard, a lot of responsibility. So you make sure your tree is healthy and doesn't have pests and diseases, you'll protect your neighbors and our commercial industry. Awesome. You guys, some of these are way too big, so uh, I don't know how that's going to work out. But look, we already have some awesome looking citri uh, orange juice. rather. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it here and strain out all the nasty stuff. Although I know a lot of people like the pulp. I'm, yes. I'm a pulp person. Yeah, no, pulp's good for you, but not everybody likes it. Yeah. Alrighty, so then just kind of shake this up a little bit. And I honestly cannot think of a better way to start the morning than to uh, to uh, drink a nice, freshly squeezed glass of orange juice. And also here, I'll give, I'll give this one to you. Okay, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> also, we have some uh, uh, grapefruit upside down cake. It looks so good. And some caramelized cranberry and grapefruit. Um, it's like a jelly where you can kind of pour it in a bowl and put some uh, uh, whipped cream on it and make kind of a parfait. So again, we don't get any of this delicious cakes or any of these, uh, this you know, freshly squeezed orange juice without taking care of our citrus. So um, Dr. DeGrasse is here to educate everyone and the festival is here, so make sure you come on out and just enjoy, you know, the citrus that we have to offer. Oh, my and mouth is look watering. Look forward to more people again next year. For that Good orange help. juice. Yum, Danielle, and I actually like the pulp. I like to chew my orange juice. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> to chew it. It's save really me good. some. I have to say, it's a great way to start the morning. All right, Danielle. Thank you, honey.